G'day, welcome back. Uh, so today just a quick video. I'm in the middle of doing this um, wet belt to timing chain conversion on this Ford 1.8 TDCI engine. It was all going so well, got new chain on, everything was going well, put the timing cover on and I thought well we might as well get a nice even torque on those so I used my quarter inch 10 torque wrench and I looked up the torque figure for the bolts, there's lots of them, and Haynes manual said 23 newton meters. I oh, that that sounds like a chunk. Uh, so I wound that down. So I thought we'll do this in stages, see how we go. Started with about 13 newton meters, and um, got round to the last bolt, and kaching, snapped in half. Um, so yeah, a bit of a dilemma now as to what to do. Um, as I said, there's lots of bolts in this timing cover. Uh, so whether or not I can just kind of go without a bolt it should be fine or if I actually need to tear it all down and try and extract a bolt so we'll look for your opinions uh, see what you pros and YouTube certified people reckon and then in the end we'll wait for Ziggast up to comment and we'll go with what he says because based on his recent videos he's my go-to mechanic now so um, but yeah interested to see what you might do um, whether it's absolutely necessary to Go, take it all to pieces, fix it properly, which I'd like to do. Always wanted to do that. Um, or if I can just bodge it and leave it as it is. Um, I don't like bodging things. I really don't. So I'm probably going to end up doing it properly, but just interested on in your opinions as to whether it will be okay or not. So I'll give you a, a show of the cover so you can work it out for yourself. Um, there's a big, big steel gasket in there. I don't know what's happened to the old one. Big steel gasket in there. I've put the gasket sealer on the timing cover side of it. So it's, it's well sealed. Uh, but whether I can run with one bolt short or not, you let me know. Right, so that's the top of our cover here. So we've got two, four, six, seven bolts up top. And the cover carries on down there. So we've got another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll look at it underneath. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bolts, then we end up with our missing one. At least it's in one of the accessible ones. Yeah. So, let me know what you reckon, whether I can do without that one. Or we got to kind of 120mm, 4 inch span kind of thing there. I'm guessing I'm going to have to do it properly, but yeah, interested to know what you reckon, and um, go from there. Cheers!